Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway. A big sincere thank you to every single person that entered. I will be shouting out all of you at the end of the video. Anyway guys, congrats to Neruda Lol for winning the 100 subscriber giveaway. I have sent a friend request to you on Epic Games, just make sure that you accept it and I will be giving you your skin as soon as I am able to. For those of you that don't know, I have to wait two days before I can gift him something, so I'm gonna be waiting the two days, then it'll all be his. And I am a man of my word, so I will 100% be gifting you it. Congratulations on winning my first ever giveaway. And for those of you that entered and still did not win, do not worry, because there's gonna be another giveaway happening at 200 subscribers and every subscriber milestone until I get to 1,000. Anyway, without further ado, this video is about how to train your aim in Fortnite Battle Royale. Basically, I'm going to be going over three ways. I'm going to be going over the free PC way, the paid for PC way, and the free version if you don't have a PC and if you're on console or Nintendo Switch or something, it's how to train your aim in-game. Anyway, without further ado, let's hop into this video. So the first best way to practice your aim if you don't want to spend any money and you're playing on PC is to use a free program called AimLab. AimLab is a free program on Steam that is a FPS aim trainer and many professionals like Booga and Mongrel do use it. And by the way, I do know that Mongrel doesn't use it that often. He just got a sponsorship from it, so. Anyway, the main six drills that I'm going to be talking about are actually the default ones that AimLab recommends. AimLab does do a pretty good job of recommending these drills, and I'm just going to basically go over them and what they work on. I'm also going to go over how to practice them. Okay, so starting with the first one, it is called Spider Shot. In this drill, basically there is one ball, and once you shoot the ball, another ball will appear, and you just have to keep hitting it. It's kind of like Tile Frenzy, but with only one tile. Anyway, it works on flicks and your mouse control, and this can be really helpful when you're aiming with your SMG or your AR. This is what's going to give you that smooth, crisp, precise aim. When you're doing this drill, you should really try to practice it slowly so that you get really consistent hits on the balls. Okay, the next drill is called Sphere Track. This drill works on your SMG and AR aim. Basically, what's going to happen is the game is going to spawn in a sphere, and your job is to keep your crosshair on it, and it'll turn blue. But if your crosshair isn't on it, it'll just turn red. This is a very effective aim trainer, and it really improves your aim fast. All right, next we have Grid Shot, and Grid Shot is basically like Tile Frenzy, but it's a name lab. As we all know, Tile Frenzy works on your mouse control, and it also works on your flicks, so you guys will be able to react faster to when something pops up on screen and you need to hit it immediately. All right, after Grid Shot, we have Switch Track. In Switch Track, basically, you're going to be working on your flicks and your tracking. Basically, there's going to be a bunch of spheres that spawn on screen, and it's your job to track one until the green bar goes down and then switch to the next one and track them. This one really works on your reaction time because once you finish one of the spheres, then you instantly have to move to the next one in order to get a really good score. I've done this one a lot, so this has really helped my reaction time, and I can say for sure that it will really, really help your tracking as well. All right, the next drill is called Strafe Track. This is basically where there's a ball that spawns in, and it stays at your eye level, but it goes left and right at random increments. This one also really improves your reaction time, but this one improves your tracking the most because if there's a person who's strafing from left to right, it'll help you when you're tracking them. All right, the final drill in AIM Lab is called Motion Shot, and in this drill, it really works on your click timing and your reaction time. I know it seems like every drill works on your reaction time, but most drills in here do. Motion Shot also works on your tracking. This is basically a combination of all of the drills that I've said before. So this is basically the best way to practice your aim in AIM Lab. All right, the next software that you guys can use to practice your aim is called Kovacs Aim Trainer. This is a paid for software. I think it costs about $10 as of the time I'm making this video, but sometimes the price goes down to as cheap as five. Kovacs is probably the best aim trainer on the market right now. It's very, very popular amongst esports professionals and it's very good for your aim. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna list the drills to do for each type of aiming. So like I said before, there are three types of aiming. There's click timing, there's flicking, and there's tracking. All three are equally as important, but I have different amounts of drills for each type. If you guys don't know, Kovacs has over 3,000 scenarios. So if you don't have it, I would highly recommend the investment if you're trying to become an esports pro. Okay, so for the first category, it is going to be click timing. For click timing, I would recommend two drills. I would recommend Popcorn Sparky and Bounce 180. Both of these drills are really, really useful because when you're tracking, you really have to just make those micro adjustments in order to hit the ball. I feel like Popcorn Sparky is probably one of the hardest aim drills that I've ever done. Okay, the next type of aim is flicking, and in flicking, there is two that I would recommend. I would recommend Tile Frenzy, and then I would also recommend One Wall Six Targets TE. Both of these really help your mouse control, and they will also really help your flicking. My flicking has gotten really good ever since I started doing One Wall Six Targets TE. 
Okay, so the last category is tracking. And in my opinion, tracking is the most important because it's you actually staying on the, I guess, target. So the first one I have is close long strafes, which is basically when you have this little cylinder and it's moving side to side and you just have to keep your crosshair on it and click down. And then the second drill that I have, you might've heard of, it's called ascended tracking V2. This is probably the best one for AR and SMG aim because this is one that it's very realistic because the person is jumping at random increments. All right, the next one is pat target switch small. This is really good for getting good AR beams out of the air. And the last one is dev target switch go to. This is just one that's really good for keeping your crosshair at the same level as your target because all of the little, I guess, balls are at different levels. If you guys don't have Kovacs, please consider investing in it. It's really worth the investment. Okay, so the last way to practice your aim I'm going to go over is if you don't have a PC, if you're not playing on PC, and if you don't have Steam, if you don't have AimLab, or you just can't access Kovacs or AimLab. This is a Fortnite in-game aim trainer. It's called Skavix Aim Trainer. If you guys have watched It's Jarian or Kamali, then you've definitely seen this aim trainer. Basically, Skavix Aim Trainer is an in-game aim trainer where the game will spawn in zombies that you have to try and hit. Okay, so in Skavix, the first thing I recommend to do is to do the horizontal aim practice because that'll really help your AR aim a lot. The second thing I recommend to do is the vertical AR aim because that'll also help your AR aim. And then when you combine the two, it'll give you some smooth, fluid motions. And then the last thing I recommend is to do bounce 360 simply because that will really work on your SMG aim. Basically, there's going to be a bunch of zombies bouncing around that you have to hit. Anyway, guys, that was the video on how to improve your aim in Fortnite Battle Royale Season 4. If you guys did enjoy, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel in order to enter more giveaways at 200 subs. And also to help me make more videos on different topics. But yeah, anyway, shout out to all of these lovely people here on screen. I am so thankful that you guys subscribed to me and you guys entered the giveaway and you guys even watch my videos. As you guys can see, the past two videos have been a little bit lower quality simply because I've been working on the giveaway and some other stuff in the background. And now the videos are really going to pick up pace. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like and subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.